The heat of the war is still high in eastern Ukraine. Ukrainian military officials say Russia is again closing in on areas reclaimed, making it difficult to reach several civilians with assistance. We have details in this report. Ukraine's top military official says after territory reclamation from Russia over the weekend, his country's forces in the eastern city of Severodonetsk are under renewed attacks. The head of the Lohask Regional Military Administration, Sehihede, says Ukrainian forces managed to counterattack for a while and liberated almost half of the city, but now the situation has worsened again. Mr. Heyday also adds that the evacuation of approximately 15,000 civilians remaining in several Donetsk is impossible because of the intense fighting there. According to him, Russia is targeting a lot of shelling at the neighboring city of Lysychansk, not far from Severodonetsk, and the Russians are still destroying houses and humanitarian aid centers. On the flip side, the Ukrainian military says Russia fired five cruise missiles towards their country's capital, Kyiv, on Sunday. The UK's Ministry of Defense, in its latest intelligence assessment, says the missile attack was likely an attempt to disrupt the supply of Western military equipment to frontline Ukrainian troops. The general staff of Ukraine's armed forces say one of the missiles was intercepted by Ukraine's air defense, but the rest hit infrastructure facilities on the north of the capital, Kyiv. A military target and a civilian target were hit. Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, has warned that his forces will strike new targets if the United States supply long-range missiles to Ukraine. Meanwhile, Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky, has visited frontline troops in Donetsk, Luhansk, as well as southeastern city of Zaporizhia with words of encouragement. A planned visit by, the, by Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, to Serbia has been cancelled because three of Serbia's neighbors have refused to let his plane use their airspace. The flight ban was imposed by EU member Bulgaria, along with North Macedonia and Montenegro, which are two countries hoping, like Serbia, to join the EU. Russia's foreign ministry has confirmed the cancellation. and Russia's invasion of Ukraine triggered the European Union's airspace ban against it. Serbia has, however, remained friendly with Russia and has not joined the EU's wide-ranging sanctions against it. A blanket flight ban was imposed against Russian planes by the EU and UK just days after Russia's invasion of Ukraine began on the 24th of February.